Hi, I'm Maggie Roth, and this is how I'm using agriculture to find a cure for breast cancer. Last year in eighth grade, I started taking a vocational agriculture class. That's kind of how we got started with my SAE. SAE stands for Supervised Agricultural, agricultural Experience. FFA works off of what we call the three circle model. So our three circle model is the components that every good agricultural education program needs to have. We have our classroom laboratory, which is what students are doing in the classroom. FFA, which provides the leadership component of that, and then the supervised agricultural experience, which is where they take in those skills that they learn in the classroom into a project outside of the classroom. A supervised agricultural experience can encompass anything from um, the typical raising livestock on your farm to working in an agribusiness to volunteering in a vet shelter. It really can be anything that a student is doing that has anything to do with agriculture. We've been looking at the different ways just to maybe do something different with our pumpkin patch. That's when we came upon the Pink Pumpkin Patch Foundation and uh, Maggie thought maybe this would also be really good for an FFA project. You know that breast cancer and pink seem to go together. So it was immediately thought of, hey, this would be a good way for seed companies and growers to assist in breast cancer research. It was created in 2012 to aid the fight against breast cancer. And they have growers across America growing these pumpkins and they donate a certain percentage of each pumpkin they sell back to the Pink Pumpkin Patch Foundation. And in turn, the Pink Pumpkin Patch Foundation awards grants to charities. Maggie is an exceptional girl. Every time I talk to her, I'm impressed with her poise, her confidence, and kind of just her drive to, to give back and the servant's heart that she has. I'm amazed um, of what she's done to take the initiative to not only start a pink pumpkin patch on her family farm, but to get other FFA chapters from across the nation involved. It's just incredible. Um, the more that I read about it, the more that I'm impressed by the caliber of young lady that we have in, in Holcomb, Kansas. Well, at first we just emailed to like see if, if we could do it for my SAE, or my, if my chapter could do it. And we could all sell them, and we decided to like take it even further and try to get other chapters in other states to do it. And at first we wanted 10 chapters from 10 different states to do it. But when we emailed our first state, New York, and we told, like, asked her if she could pass it on to the chapters in her state, and sh she got over 10 replies just in 48 hours. We're just delighted for all the support that we have been getting. And to get it, have the involvement of young people like Maggie and other FFA groups across the country, is, is just, um, it's, it's, it's sometimes overwhelming to me to think that these young people have that kind of a desire. I think that the universal cause of cancer is what's really helped to get people behind her. And then FFA chapters are always on board to give back. That's definitely something that's very integral into every FFA program. The FFA motto, motto is learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve. And that's definitely what FFA members try to do throughout their time in the Blue Jacket, is serve in any way that they can. So I think it's neat that this is a way to tie a cause that people are passionate about, cancer, and then the passion that all of our FFA chapters have for agriculture, and tie those two together, put the bow on top, and make something really awesome happen. The collaboration between Maggie and her local FFA chapter as well as um, the Pink Pumpkin Patch Foundation has been very interesting. For one thing, she has uh, elicited some sponsorships herself and the Garden City Co-op is one of those which we are very grateful for, have been helping, uh, have, have become a sponsor for Maggie's local group as well as for uh, the resources of the foundation. I think that it would be neat if we had every chapter in the entire state of Kansas, the entire country involved in her program because it's very honorable, um, something that we all can relate to. It's really easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day things of, you know, going to class, being a student, but it's more important to serve a larger cause. I can't imagine as a freshman realizing, well, there's a lot of 
a lot of bad things in the world and there's cancer and there's things that I can do to give back. And Mash Maggie found that, became passionate about it and made it happen. And so I think it serves as a really awesome story and an example to every student that it doesn't matter how young you are or anything, you truly can make things happen. My goal for this year is instead of seeing a orange pumpkins on everyone's front steps, I would like to see a pink pumpkin. And by my senior year, I would like to have a chapter in every state also doing this project with, with my chapter. And also I would like for this to continue on even when I graduate high school. But really this project is about all of us FFA chapters coming together and working together for one good cause.